Today is day one of jury selection in the federal corruption trial of Philadelphia District Attorney Seth Williams. He's accused of misusing campaign funds and taking bribes in exchange for favors. Our Joe Holden has details now from the federal courthouse where the jury who will hear that case is being assembled. Good evening. Just moments ago, the jury was sat in the case of Seth Williams. It is 10 women and two men. There are also four alternates, all women. Inside a private conference room at the federal courthouse, prosecutors and lawyers for Seth Williams are huddled around a table, weeding through a pool of 137 jurors. Potential jurors are brought in one at a time and asked questions about their knowledge of the quid pro quo case against Philadelphia's district attorney. An overwhelming amount of potential jurors told the court serving on this jury would be a significant hardship. Seth Williams is charged in a wide ranging indictment accused of bribery, extortion, and fraud. The allegation suggests Williams exerted his official influence as Philadelphia's top prosecutor in exchange for gifts and trips. There was a car, a leather sofa, vacations paid to Williams, the FBI says, in return for favors for friends and business associates. Williams has resisted demands from top city officials to step down. While he has denied doing anything criminal, his continued role has cast a black cloud over the DA's office. The judge has moved the corruption case along at rapid speed, saying a quick resolution is in the public's best interest. Once again, the jury is completely chosen. The judge told those jurors to be back here to start at 930 in the morning. He expects this case to last somewhere between three and four weeks. Outside federal court, Joe Holden, CBS 3 Eyewitness News.